welcome to this special show. We are at VID Chennai to celebrate Vibrance 2023, a three-day long cultural and sports festival which is set to bring students from across the nation together and it promises to be a spectacular event. We are here to bring you all the action from ground. So come, let's take a look. Vellore Institute of Technology Chennai is back with the seventh edition of its cultural festival, Vibrance 2023. The three-day annual cultural and sports festival is one of its kind. The carnival creates an atmosphere of enormous joy and entertainment for the students. So this is the seventh edition of Vibrance. We're coming back from the pandemic and we're coming back stronger and better. Uh, we have like three nights lined up, 150 plus events, 40 plus sports events and we build up the excitement during the day for the pro shows and at night we have three shows lined up each day with a great artist lineup. Uh, we've been working, a committee of 800 people has been working for the last month and as of now it's successful. The Vibrance is also known to be like one of the biggest cultural events and it is the seventh edition of VIT. We have like many mega events, like today was the first D-Day. So in, on day one we had designers club, stylathon, we had cultural mela, we had in sync of dance club. There are mega events and I'm working for the central committee under event and venue management. So that has been a great experience. It has made personally made my personality boost. It has made my interaction with people boost and everything. VIT believes in exploring the students' inner talents to its best. The institute claims to enhance scholar life of students through cultural and other activities. VIT also has world-class labs pertaining to the different fields of studies which gives a hands-on experience. To have a better understanding, we interacted with the Vice President of VIT, Dr. Shekhar Vishwanathan. Hello and welcome to this special presentation. Today I'm in VIT Chennai and I have the pleasure of sitting down with the Vice President of VIT, Dr. Shekhar Vishwanath. Thank you so much for being with us, sir. It's my pleasure to be in the show. So let us first start with the talk of the town. Vibrance is back after a two year long hiatus due to the pandemic. So can you tell us what we can expect from this fest this time around? Oh, Vibrance, uh, it's the seventh edition. As you mentioned, we had a gap of uh, two years because of the pandemic. And now we are coming back with a big bang. Uh, we have close to 20,000 students participating in this uh, three-day mega festival. And uh, about uh, 150 uh, cultural events and 40 sports events are taking place. And some of the highlights are, for example, in the uh, music, there's going to be the battle of the bands and then the Akriti, which is the Eastern style, and then the polyphony, which is the Western style music. And then we have the uh, dance competitions called Dance Posito. And uh, we, uh, we have this fashion show called Stylathon, where they are given 12 hours and they design, uh, make it, and then do a ramp walk in 12 hours. So that's gonna be one of the highlights. Apart from this, uh, we have a number of celebrities uh, coming to the campus. Uh, Shivam Dube, the famous cricketer, uh, he'll be inaugurating it today. And uh, today's pro show artists are uh, uh, Benny Dayal and uh, Shirley Setia. And then uh, day two, we have the famous Sonu Nigam himself uh, coming here and uh, performing. And then the famous MJ5 uh, dance crew. And on the final day, we have uh, Sneha and Prasanna, the famous South Indian actors, uh, the chief guests of the function. Uh, along with that, the famous DJ Shadow Dubai and the DJ Paranox from the Sunburn campus. So it's going to be fun-filled three days for all the students. So as you mentioned that there will be over 150 cultural events and more than 40 sports events. So may I ask you, what is the significance of these events for a student? What can they learn from this? Yeah, so let's divide it into two. One is the participants, the other is the organizers. Uh, for the participants, this is going to be a great opportunity to exhibit their talent, exhibit their, especially the creativity, uh, whether it's a form of a dance or music or any of those events we talked about. So it's a great way for the world to identify such talent. So this could be used as a uh, platform. And when they come here, uh, they mingle with different college students, different cultures, so it improves their uh, social skills also. 
and for the organizers actually this event is a complete student event it is for the student by the student <laughs> of the students and uh, the students more than 700 800 students are involved in organizing this for about three months and these students are getting a lot of leadership skills team skills communication skills and of course marketing finance all sorts of uh, talent gets enhanced so it's an out and out student fest so let's talk about the vit chennai campus when it comes to the quality of life in their most transformative years what can a student expect when living in this campus and what are some of the unique facilities that this campus has to offer sure so if you look at the campus life as we call it vibrant this is one of the vibrant campuses in the country uh, we have uh, about um, 18000 students uh, studying in uh, vit chennai and they come from all states and union territories of india and about 16 uh, foreign countries are represented in the campus so it's like a melting pot of uh, cultures in this campus so we have about 135 clubs and chapters for the students. So they organize all festivals, you know, whether it's Lori or Ugadi or, you know, Gudipadwa or the Pongal of the state. Every festival is being celebrated here and everybody else learns about it. And that, that's a very nice thing to do, you know, when you learn from other cultures. So it gives an opportunity for you to learn about other cultures also. And apart from that, we have a lot of technical associations, whether it's IEEE Association or Google Developers Club. And we have uh, about 11 special teams which work on um, making cars for automotive racing or drones, and they have robotics clubs. So these are all the technical clubs which encourage the talent of the uh, students. So this is about the campus life. And when it comes to facilities, uh, we have more than 9,000 students staying in the campus. We have a lot of hostel facilities, which have both air-conditioned and non-air-conditioned rooms, and they have different types of cuisines to choose from. Um, and uh, these students are uh, using the labs 24 by seven. Many of the students, all the student clubs, they can use the facilities any time of the uh, day or night they want. And uh, when it comes to um, the opportunities, we encourage entrepreneurship among the students. So we have something called VNEST, the VIT's nesting program. So we encourage students to form companies. Already 12 companies are getting incubated uh, by our uh, students. So these students, when they have some ideas, they go and discuss and we nurture those ideas and help them to form uh, companies. And of course, uh, we have wonderful facilities like a swimming pool, a gymnasium, and an auditorium which can convert into a playground, the indoor gymnatorium. Uh, we have all the facilities uh, which a student would ask for, um, and it helps the students to grow. And when it comes to academics, uh, we have something called as FFCS, Fully Flexible Credit System which allows the students to choose their faculty, choose the subject, choose the time of the day where they can take the class. So each student has their own schedule for the week, the timetable we call it. So this allows them to choose subjects from different branches. They can do minors in different areas, they can do specializations or double majors. So all those flexibilities are uh, given to the student so that they can uh, grow in their life. I wanted to mention one more point in this regard. Uh, we are located very close to the IT corridor uh, of Chennai. So we have a 192 acre campus here. So this strategic advantage, location advantage, gives us good connect with the industries. So students get their internships easily. We get the uh, guest lectures from the industries easily. We offer courses for the industries and uh, students get to do their projects with the industry. So all this industry connect uh, is of great use to the students. These facilities are unique for VIT Chennai. That's what I was just about to say. That truly sounds unique and one of a kind. 
डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ वी आई टी चेन्नई ऑफर्स ट्वेंटी अंडर ग्रैड कोर्सेज एंड ट्वेंटी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कोर्सेज अमंग दी अदर कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड बाई द इंस्टीट्यूशन कुड यू टेल एस वॉट एनकरेज यू टू प्रोवाइड द फाइनेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन विच हैज ऑल्सो लेड टू वी आई टी बींग रिकगनाइज एज वन ऑफ द टॉप रैंक इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द कंट्री द बिगेस्ट मोटिवेशन फॉर एस हेयर इज वेन वी सी आर स्टूडेंट्स गेट placed in the top companies see many of the students come from very humble uh, background uh, economically uh, but when they graduate you know you hear of students getting a ctc of even 1 crore uh, per year um, and they get into top companies like microsoft or google or oracle uh, what happens is the entire uh, living standard of the family they come from goes up um, you know some of the students earn 10 times what their parents make so that's the biggest motivation for us to uh, provide the best quality of education uh, if you look at it we also have excellent international relations we have tie ups with more than uh, 350 university uh, universities across the world so students have the opportunity to go for one semester abroad we actually even fund them for the semester abroad program and we also have something called as ITP international transfer program they can study 2 years at VIT and then 2 years either in US or UK or Australia we have partnerships with about 24 universities so they can transfer and get the uh, bachelor's degree from the uh, partner university that helps them save the cost of studying fully in a country like US it's very expensive there so we can also talk about our industries um helping us in setting up the curriculum so we when we offer a new program we actually consult the industry and we offer programs only which have a need in the industry which have a demand so we want to make sure our students are highly successful so we constantly update our curriculum in consultation with the industry so we are highly industry focused um uh, this helps us and this motivates us so my next question will be of interest for our young viewers and their parents so could you please share some tips for those students who are planning to apply to vit to pursue their further education so any tips for them yeah yeah i can give a lot of tips um so for our uh, btech program which is our flagship program uh, we conduct an entrance exam called vit vit engineering entrance exam which is one of the most popular exams in the country uh, and uh, this requires preparation from a for a long time in maths physics chemistry bit of an english and some analytical and logical thinking also and for our masters degree we conduct our wit me it's similar to the gate exam vit masters engineering entrance, entrance exam and for phd we conduct vit research entrance exam so all these entrance exams uh, need to be prepared for a long time so that's what i would suggest to our viewers uh, to start preparing early uh, for this and there are some programs like our integrated uh, mtech which doesn't require an entrance exam but we use the uh, qualifying exam so which means the 12 standard maths physics and chemistry marks we use that to uh, admit uh, students because ours is all completely merit based admissions and we are offering law programs the right. ba llb and bba llb programs which are one of the top rated programs the law programs in the country and we use the um, entrance exams the lsat and um, clat exams the law exams to enter these programs so if you look at it for some of these programs there is an entrance exam which students need to prepare and some of it it's the qualifying exam so what students can do is visit our website hmm. where all the details are given so even if they are in their 8th or 9th now nothing wrong just go there and you know start preparing early because it's a highly competitive uh, world so if you uh, and we also constantly uh, post messages in our social handles we are on uh, facebook insta twitter and um, all this uh, social media so uh, our students are encouraged to Uh, get into our uh, pages uh, our handles and uh, we uh, annually we give the advertisements in the leading newspapers also hmm. so uh, students can be on the lookout for such thing my uh, closing comment is you know we welcome you to vit uh, it's a 
place to learn and a chance to grow. Wonderful. So there you have it. Some valuable tips from the Vice President himself. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, sir. It's a, Thank it's, you for your it's time. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Welcome back to the Campus Carnival of the Year, Vibrance 2023, where BID Chennai has opened its door to more than 15,000 students to experience the extravaganza. Have a look. Wherever you want to uh, uh, spread your wing, as in if a legal eagle wants to spread their wing, VAT law uh, has the expertise to provide for them, um, as in whichever field as uh, IT law or uh, company law, uh, we have faculties to encourage every single branch. So that is what makes VIT Law special, as in it is not limited in scope. Uh, it has infinite scope and uh, it enables your infinite ideas. It's not more just theory and uh, subjects and learning, but more of a practical experience with a uh, real life uh, experience. So we, uh, VIT Law provides this, uh, uh, this environment of mood code for us to learn uh, how to interact uh, with our superiors or judges or how to um, interact with the uh, 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 victim or a accused. So uh, that gives us the nuances that we cannot find in text but only we can find in person. What I love about VIT is the number of opportunities that the college has given me and my friends, the exposure and it's not just about the academic, it's about the co-curricular activities as well, like, as well like not just mood quotes but we have MUNs, we have debate, we have parliamentary competitions thus, and so on. So many other opportunities that the college has given me. It has give, given me the exposure I don't, that no other college or in, any other institution would have given me again. Covering over 180 events, more than 15,000 participants, this year, the carnival is bigger, better and more exciting. Uh, vibrance is kind of a thing which all the students wait for. It is the only cultural fest which is done for us. Like all the clubs, it is done for us, by us, like everything about that. So there are a lot of clubs who, who, like, who bring out different events. And there's a main core committee of students who bring all the uh, celebrities. This time we have Sonu Nigam, Benny Dayal, Shirley Setia and many more coming. So it's like a uh, night we'll have concerts of them where we can rave, dance and have a lot of fun. And from morning to evening we'll be having different events. So yeah, it's basically all fun for three days straight. I'm so privileged to be here because the department is well resourced for academic work and research. And the faculty are well resourced and very efficient and ever ready to help whoever has availed him or herself to work. So I'm so privileged to be here. I'm learning fashion, so I want to develop an app, a mobile app for females to know how to identify their body figure type and the best garment to choose. I mean, the best garment style to choose to accentuate their body figure type. Apart from cultural activities, the carnival also showcased pro shows for three days with celebrities from different sectors embracing the audience with their amazing performance. Vibrance 2023 featured performances from singer Benny Dayal, singer Shirley Satya, famous dance group MJ5 and famous singer Son Nigam. So that concludes our special feature on Vibrance 2023. We hope you felt the excitement and the bristling energy as we felt here being a part of the event. This is Ashwarya Upadhyay signing off from VIT Chennai and we will see you next year.